Hey guys, uh, Mr. Bring, uh, Mr. B, Mr. B here, if I can speak, um, bringing you another special edition math video. Um, this one is on uh, the limit from Mean Girls and uh, exactly what happens in the movie. If you remember, uh, Lindsay Lohan in her prime um, is a mathlete of some sort, and she's participating in this math competition. And bam, it sets in, and she answers this last-second math video, or math uh, question, and she says, "The limit does not exist." And I've been teaching calculus for a few years now, and every time I say that for the first time in a course, everyone's like, "Oh my God, Mean Girls moment!" So um, this is what actually happens. So this is the limit that's in the movie, and well, you might have done this in your calculus classes or. Um, you know, somewhere along your math career, and uh, got to the point where you end up with indeterminate form, so zero over zero. So if I sub in zero in here, I have ln of zero, which is one, or sorry, yeah, ln of um, ln of zero, which is zero, and then sorry, let me start over. If I plug in a zero for x, I have ln of one which is 0, and I have sine of 0, which is also 0, and then I sub in um, you know, 0 for cos, which I have 0 for cos, means cos of 0 is 1, so I have 1 minus 1, so I end up with 0 over 0. Why can't I speak today? I don't know. Um, so, in those situations, we have to do something different. In a terminate form, we want so we have to need some method to uh, be able to do this. So one of those methods is Lobatel's rule. So Lobatel's rule, and I'm, not, I'm going to attempt to spell this, but uh, oh god, cringe-inducing. That's definitely not right. But anyway, Lobatel's rule basically is if I take the derivative of the numerator and take the derivative of the denominator, then substitute in my limit. I'll be able to get my um, be able to evaluate my limit. So let's give it a shot. Limit as x goes to zero, and I'll write dx over ln of one minus x. You see, guys, I am an infamously bad speller, and um, I don't know what it is about it, but um, I just cannot spell for the life of me, and. Uh, I'm not one of these people who've been um, ruined by spell check. It's I've always been like a growing up, it's horrible at spelling tests. Not particularly good at mental math either, but uh, I you know I do have a math degree, so I must be decent at math regardless. But uh, anyway, so we can take the derivative of this top guy. So we'll just do this individually. So if you remember, ln of x, the derivative of ln of x, or I'll say ln of u, is one over u times du. So 1 over u, so 1 over 1 minus x times derivative of this guy in the inside. So basically the chain rule. And then, well not basically, is the chain rule. Derivative of 1 minus x, that's just a linear function, so basically end up with just the coefficient of this guy, so negative 1. And then minus, the derivative of sine is cos of x all over. The derivative of 1 is nothing. Now the derivative of cos squared, so I treat cos when I have squares I treat it like this. So uh, we can use the chain rule on that guy if you want to. So if you want to call you know, your u is cos. And so u prime is negative sine x. And then um, we have what else do we have? We have um, f of u which is u squared and then so f prime of u is 2u and um, so f of u or sorry f of x prime is equal to f prime of u so 2u times u prime which is negative sine x so that ends up being 2 negative 2 cos x sine x all right, so that goes here on the bottom. Negative 2 cos x sine x. So the limit as x goes to 0, 
Now we can simplify this a little bit. Um, 1 over, well, now we go negative 1 over 1 minus x minus cos x all over negative 2 cos x sine x. And now I'll erase this stuff over on the side to give myself a bit more space. Now what I have to do is substitute in my limit. So when I sub it in, I get negative 1 over 1 minus 0. That's minus cos of 0. I'll divide it by negative 2, cos of 0, sine of 0. So what I end up on top, I have negative 1 divided by 1 minus 0. So that's just negative 1. Subtract 1. It's cos of 0 is 1. So that's negative 2. And on the bottom, cos of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is 0. So negative 2 times 1 times 0 is 0. So what I end up with is negative 2 over 0. So that basically tells us that this guy does not exist. So we use L'Hopital's rule. So I should have Googled how to spell that, obviously, before I started this video. Um, to prove that Lindsay Lohan was indeed correct. So um, that's your little special edition Math with Mr. Barron's video. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in class.